go to Yjung2 user guide, click on ESP32 target, go to block references, and then additional features and select external mode simulation. External mode creates a communication channel between Simulink and the hardware, ESP32 in this case. When in external mode, you can tune your parameters and watch the hardware respond to those changes in real time. Scroll down to find the demo for external mode serial. This example will demonstrate how external mode can be used to change the signal pattern of a digital output pin and monitor the signal. Download the file by clicking on this link. Put the downloaded file in a separate folder, open MATLAB Simulink, and change the directory to where you have downloaded the file. Then, open the file and connect ESP32 to your computer. Next, double click on the target setup block. Go to the Yjung2 tab and make sure that the build option is set to external mode simulation. Go to the ESP32 tab and make sure that your ESP32 family, flash size, which you can reference from the data sheet, and COM port are the right selections. Next, go to the host board connection tab and ensure that your communication interface is serial. Since our communication protocol is UART, you will have to go to your ESP32 data sheet and find the transmitter and the receiver pins related to the UART module. Usually, UART0 is the module that is connected to the programmable serial port of the ESP32. UART0's transmitter and receiver pins. Transmitter and receiver pins are represented by GPIO1 and GPIO3 respectively. Go back to your Simulink model and select the correct transmitter and the receiver pins. Make sure that your serial COM port matches the COM port in the ESP32 tab. After that, to compile and deploy your model to the ESP32, go to the Hardware tab, click on Monitor and Tune, and click Build for Monitoring. Once deployed, select Control Panel in the Hardware tab and click on the Connect button to connect Simulink and ESP32 together. Now, use the rotary switch to change the input signal patterns and see your ESP32 respond to those changes in real time.